Is it possible to not pick sides in a divorce? I'm going to go first with this one. I really can't stand it when somebody says, you know, well, there's two sides to every story. Yeah. That statement, for whatever reason, was hugely triggering for me because my thought is, why are we picking sides? This isn't a spectator sport. This is a family being decimated. And so instead of picking a side, why not just step in and help wherever you can help? Mm. Be silent about things that you don't need to talk about. And if you use words, let them be words of great compassion and not judgment. Any other things that you guys would like to say as we wrap up? Yeah, I would just say, um, yeah, you're going to be surprised. So I say, yeah, you're going to pick a side. And the side is the greatest good of each image bearer in this discussion. And that greatest good might mean setting boundaries and a separation of relationship. Or it might be really diving deep into a relationship because there's so much hurt and there's so much pain. Mm. And there's a vulnerability that needs to be tended mm. for and cared for. But the filter is the greatest good yeah. of both image bearers. And, and like I said, some sometimes um, it's going to take specific actions depending on the scenario. That's really good, Joel. I think uh, just look in sports, um, certainly look in politics. And we are wired, especially in that lower limbic brain or if we're in trauma, like the death of a marriage known as a divorce, I think we're wired to pick sides. And during that time is for allow that person focusing more on picking than on picking sides to say what's going on in me, even the kids involved, where do they have a safe place to go grieve and process it? And, and I'm going to, you know, it sounds like bad news as we end here. I rarely see what I'm about to say, but oh, if we could see this more. Yeah. And it is when I work with many couples who've gone through divorce, I've never told one person, I won't, you need to divorce. That's not going to be my decision as a therapist. But I've said to them, it's rare that people do an amicable divor divorce or if something goes on, and what if your spouse even is out there trashing you or whatever else, then you can stay unilateral. And no matter what goes on is to not for yes, the sake of the kids, to not try to put them in the middle or you to try to get them campaigning for them to take sides. I will tell you, I rarely see it. Hurt people hurt people. Uh, and so appreciative of people who would say, I'm going to take this particular healthy, godly high road with what goes on. By the way, if you rip it and say, I took a shot at my ex, repair it, at least with your kids. Say, I don't want to treat you the way that's still your father, that's still your mother, whatever else. But I think there's so much limbic trauma brain going on. Most people are going to pick sides, try to get people on their sides. I wish that could go differently. Yeah, I would just make the request. Don't use the statement. There's two sides to every story. Yeah. While I understand the practical sentiment of that mm -hmm. statement, it automatically sets the conversation up for a division that's going to be hurtful on both sides. Mm -hmm.